Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're doing a harvest video here in our fruiting chamber and we're going to be highlighting some of the things that we're doing here. Look at that monster. This is the biggest mushroom I've grown to date. Just look at those big meaty caps and stems. It is crazy. But yeah, we're just going to be harvesting this right now and this is the most insane thing I've ever seen. So basically for this, you're just going to take a good hold on the bottom. And oyster mushrooms are a really easy harvest. You're just going to pull across. Right there. It doesn't want to let go. And yeah, as simple as that. And you get a beautiful oyster mushroom harvest. And man, I just can't get over the fact uh, that this is this big. And then we're going to place it on our tote here. Takes up the whole tote. <laughs> like, come on. And we'll place this mushroom block right back on the shelf and it'll keep flushing out two to three, up to five or six if you let it. But for our purposes, we only let it go to about two or three. And yeah, we'll just place it right back on the shelf. And next, we're going to take a look at our lion's mane. And these aren't fully mature yet, but if you can see, those speckles, this lion's mane, guys. This is not even full maturity, it's actually amazing. Let's get that close up right there. Crazy mushroom here. So yeah, we'll let this reach full maturity. And take a look at this pin set. Now this is gonna turn into probably my biggest flush of oyster mushrooms that I've seen. Just so, hundreds of pins right here. Actually insane. And we're gonna do a few harvests of our Phoenix oysters that we have right here. This is past mature. If you see the cap starting to wave up like this, um, it's a little bit past mature, but nothing wrong with them, just as good. And same thing with all oyster mushrooms, essentially. You're just gonna take it from the base and then pull one direction. Easy as that, with a beautiful cluster of Phoenix Oyster Mushrooms going right there. And just look at this basket already, just off of two blocks. Truly amazing. And just like all the other ones, we'll place it right back, and it'll continue to flush out for us. And we'll do the same thing here. Nice. I think this is about a third flush of Phoenix Oyster Mushrooms. Crazy how much weight these things put out. So, we'll just grab the base and pull across. Super simple. We're gonna hold, put these in our tote. And you'll see, this is a funny case. This is the third flush of Phoenix Oyster Mushrooms. And you see how they grow out right where they, we put the cut in right here? Just an easy harvest, or well, in theory. Just an easy harvest, crazy. And like I said, just put it right back on the shelf and it'll continue to flush out pretty much until all the nutrients are expelled. So yeah, we got another block right here, Fiend Swishers. Look at that. Really nice Phoenix Swishers. From the bottom, and then pull up. Beautiful. Set that right back down there. And now, some more great oysters. Look at that. It's crazy beautiful how wavy these caps are. And this is about where you want to harvest it. If you're, um, looking for the maximum shelf life, I would say. It's where that cap just starts to straighten out, you can see, and some of them are a little curved. You could let this go longer if you're growing them from home, but uh, we're gonna harvest them now because this is where the majority of the shelf life comes from. So same thing, just take a grip from the bottom, and then pull up. And we'll, we'll do this in two separate clusters, but man, doesn't get much more beautiful than that, really. 
Same thing here, pull right across. Easy as that. I'll give you guys a little update on the bin. We are definitely gonna need another bin. I'm not sure what to say. It speaks for itself. It's crazy. We're not even done harvesting yet. We got one more block here. And I just let this one slip right off the side. I don't know if you guys can see that from here. But this is a flush of Phoenix oyster mushrooms. Really beautiful mushroom. One of my favorite oysters for sure. It's um, done really good for me so far. So got a soft spot for the Phoenix oyster. But yeah, simple as that guys. Add that to the stash. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can show you guys the other lion's mane. Man, I could stare at lion's mane all day. It does not get much better than, than that when it comes to fungi. It's just so beautiful. And that's about it for the harvest today, guys. We pulled a lot of weight out of the grow tent. Um, if you'll see, just absolute monstrous amount of mushrooms. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. FloridianFungi.com, follow me on all the social medias, and I'll see you later.